So I'm joined here with Naxty, or he's changing his account name to Snow Faller, or just Snow, I guess. He's a Call of Duty YouTuber, and I haven't done a collaboration video in so long, so this video is gonna not be that great, probably. But people wanted to see a video of a collaboration of the future of Call of Duty, so that's what we're gonna be talking about today. So, do you want to introduce yourself? Hello, I am Snow. And what I do on my channel is I do Call of Duty commentary, so I'm quite familiar with Call of Duty. I play lots of it. I've been playing for very long, so it's probably a good choice bringing me into this video. Except for the fact that you've only played Ghosts. Where are you getting this information? Uh, never mind. Uh, let's just <laughs> move on. So, Call of Duty, um, it's sort of like the franchise that kind of like everyone knows. If you play games, you kind of know about Call of Duty. And the newest one, Black Ops 4, I mean, a lot of people really, really like Black Ops 4, like, consider it to be way better than all the recent ones, like World War II, I think. Um, what was the other one? Infinite Warfare. Um, and just people were like seeing this like the best Call of Duty in years. And this, of course, this is definitely going to mark, like, the future for Treyarch and just whoever's going to make the next Call of Duty. So, I guess when it really comes down to talking about the future of Call of Duty, we should probably start with talking about that game. So, I guess Black Ops 4, I don't, Black Ops 4 was, like, the first one to ditch the campaign, though, I think, right? Out of all the Call of Duties, they have all had a campaign, even the first one, which was really sometime back in 1990 something really? and even that had a campaign and black ops 4 ditching a campaign is it's definitely really different because treyarch has with all their call of duties they have all had a campaign that have always been really like important to the story of the game because if the campaign had something it would probably pre be pretty important to multiplayer which is what you go around and playing with other players, you know? And with Black Ops 4 ditching that, it's really the first time we've ever seen this. Personally, I I don't I, I don't really like them ditching campaign because I've always enjoyed playing campaign for say whenever my internet went offline. Cause it was always just fun to just see the story happen again. And now without it, it's just the game just feels so just empty without it, you know? Yeah, and, like, this was, like, well, I mean, it, I guess it kind of makes sense that they removed the campaign, because, like, this is the fourth Black Ops 4, and, like, didn't Black Ops 3 sort of, like, I heard the campaign sort of, like, kind of ended it, or, like, it was kind of hard to, like, follow it up, so. Yeah, it did, Black Ops 3, it did, I, I personally haven't really played the Black Ops 3 campaign, because, just being honest, it kind of looked, like, really boring to me, and I've never really found any campaign yeah. boring, but, I, from what I've heard, it either was, like, really hard to continue, or it ended. Yeah. And then, like, in Black Ops 4, they also had Blackout, too, which is completely new, so... I wouldn't be surprised if in the next one, too, because there's a lot of, like, rumors going around about what the next Call of Duty is gonna be, which we'll get into in, like, a minute. But I wouldn't be surprised if they don't put a campaign in future Call of Duties, like, especially with the next one. So, I guess talking about that more, um... So, I don't know if you agree with this, but there's been a lot of rumors going around saying that the future of Call of Duty is in these sort of, like, I guess sort of, like, revisions, kind of. Like, we got, what was that one called? Um, Modern Warfare Remastered. People are saying we might get Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. Um, and uh, people are saying maybe Modern Warfare 4. And if they do that, they'd probably ditch the campaign in Modern Warfare 4, but I don't know. Being honest... With with how Modern Warfare ended, Modern Warfare 4, they would most likely have to ditch the campaign because of how it was. And about the remasters, I I would perfectly love remasters because I loved Modern Warfare 2. That game was really good. I I always enjoyed going on there and just playing with my friends and just having a good time, you know? Lots of... yeah funny moments like me and my friends getting mad someone breaking something it was always just <laughs> fun to watch you're just going into game chat seeing that little kid just get like really mad just bang his desk like bang bang <laughs> bang you know yeah 
Yeah, and like, honestly though, like, remasters are probably where I think Call of Duty should go, honestly, just because like, there's, there's not really that much, um, unless they start something new or make like, Ghost 2 or something like that, which isn't even happening, I don't think. Um, they were working on it, but they completely ditched it. Which, I mean, kind of makes sense considering like, how much everyone hated Ghost, even though, from what I heard, it wasn't terrible to some people. I actually enjoyed that game, maybe because it was just too easy, maybe because like everyone's better, just the guns were just way too overpowered. But with the way that Call of Duty Ghost campaign ended, they would have to make a second Ghost, but they were working on it, and then they said, you know what, this game sucks, let's just ditch it. Yeah. And personally for a remaster, I there was this one game that I loved that would be great for a remaster, and I have some reasons, because... Black Ops 2. It's a great game. Oh, Everyone yeah. loved it. My, great the, physics and everything. The only Call of Duty game I played. <laughs> and with that Call of Duty now, it, say like if you're going to go on on like your PlayStation or Xbox or something, you would get into a lobby full of infection modders. What you have to do to get these is you just go into theater mode, watch a clip, and bam, you have mods. Oh yeah. And that's like every single lobby is that. And there's people there trying to counter it by using force hosts, so no one can mod in it. Which is very nice to see that the community is working together to do this, so there's actually playable games. Yeah, because modding and, is essentially broke Black Ops 2. Uh-huh, and I... Black Ops 2, like, whenever I hop on, if I look at, like, the amount of money I've spent on there, I would literally get really sad because I just... It just makes me feel really sad how the game has gone downhill into something that is just ruined. So just like a dose of nostalgia. <laughs> yeah. Well, like for me, the reason why I never picked up another Call of Duty besides two is just because all the other ones didn't really seem that interesting to me. But I did play quite a bit of Black Ops too. Like I got the season pass for that, and on 360, it was like one of my favorite games on there. And if they remastered that, I would be, I would be into that definitely. So I would be playing that every day. <laughs> Yeah, so if they were to... I think remasters, honestly, are where I'd, I'd like to see the series go, and I think that's probably where you want to see it go, too. But... Like, I mean, we do have two or three more years till Treyarch releases a new game, and, like, if they do make a Black Ops 2 remastered, like, even Black Ops 1 remastered, I would be completely fine with that. Because that game was pretty good as well. Yeah, but... Talking about, like, actual, like, new games, do you think that they're actually going to make, like, another Call of Duty, like, a new entry, sort of? Like, you know how you got G Ghosts is not, like, a continuation of a series? Well, see, they're running out of ideas because really the last idea that was, like, really, really, really big was Exosuits that I think it was Sledgehammer yeah. games made. Yeah, well, it, it was, was Sledgehammer. Advanced Warfare. Yeah, it was Advanced Warfare, and what Advanced Warfare did is they brought in some mechanics that people didn't like. They brought in exosuits, which were just advanced movement, which like allowed you to go like many feet in the air. And also, they brought in supply drops and lots of and these companies in Call of Duty they don't want to do that anymore. But you see, Activision is forcing them to do it because they want to milk them out of money. So if you think of it, Activision is also kind of ruining Call of Duty as well. And considering this is like now, especially now that like Blizzard or not not Blizzard, um, Bungie, I think it is that split with them. This is like Call of Duty is now officially like what is keeping Activision sort of relevant, really. So yeah. And to be honest, in my eyes, Treyarch has always been my favorite because they've always been really good with ideas. Like Blackout, not gonna lie, it's not bad. I play it daily because it is pretty fun good ideas and everything but what undoubtedly one of the biggest ideas that call of duty has had is back in world at war treyarch made that call of duty and they brought in zombies what that did that brought in a whole community every call of duty since ha well oh yeah i think it's every call of duty except for ghost they did their weird alien thing <laughs> every call of duty since has included zombies which has always which it's just it's just fun seeing these different companies use their own ideas but at the end of the day you just have to think that treyarch was the one that originally made made it and uh, and it's probably gonna remain the best as yeah. in my eyes i don't know about 
your viewers eyes yeah well i think honestly like treyarch would probably be the best well they probably know like where to take the series the best just considering about how their last few games have been pretty good so mm -hmm. i i think that activision should probably focus more on them but i i feel like it really comes down to the fact that who long who knows how long activision is going to keep just completely milk in the series until there's like nothing left so and treyarch like say if they, they did ruin like if activision did ruin call of duty treyarch would probably keep on still doing it because they've always done like good things like with the exo jumps people hated advanced warfare because of the way it was black ops 3 introduced it in a way that was it wasn't used for combat it was used for maneuvering around a map which people loved and i loved it because you could just gain so much speed to go around the map and like say like if you're getting shot and you try to boost in the air you're you're gonna be so slow that you're just gonna get shot out of the air simple yeah so i guess just in conclusion we're just sort of reaching a point where it's just like i guess the future of call of duty is mostly i think that the way i want to see it taken i think from what what i can understand what you're saying is that they should just remaster more of the old games but that's like nostalgia speaking sort of but at the same time, like, I feel like for the future franchises, and I'm pretty sure you agree with this too, I feel like Treyarch knows what to do. So, Activision should and, sort of just rely on them, I think. And Treyarch is actually bringing back a lot of things from old Call of Duty's. Like, they're bringing back camos, tons of weapons in Black Ops 4 from the old games. Yeah. And I truly enjoy it because even in Blackout, you're able to play as the old characters from the older Call of Duty's yeah you're able to play as the specialists and they have like a story and like you play as like the younger version of them because in black ops 4 the way that they made it's like there wouldn't be any advanced movement is they went back in time with that one. Oh, what? and yeah that's why the specialists don't have it as advanced things that's why one of the specialists doesn't have like all the cybernetic upgrades and stuff they all have like really detailed stories Wow. And to be honest, Black Ops, like, if they were to make Black Ops 5, it would have to go, like, really far back with if it's going to keep on going back, or it would have to go really far into the future, and there would probably be advanced movement, and people would probably be like, why, Treyarch? You've always had good ideas. Why would you do this? Yeah. So, I guess that's sort of our concluding point. So, I guess just, what do you think of this? Uh, let us know in the comments. If you want to check out Snow Naxty Naxty Snow Faller, his channel's in the description. Um, he's very kid friendly. Um, not saying that this is a kid channel because it's not. Even though, you know, I but just, okay. What I'm trying to say is that if you go check out his channel and he swears, Dell, that sucks. That's just sort of what happens on this you on this platform. So well, fuck. My my. If you also like seeing people rage, you'll probably like my videos. Yeah, okay, so if you do want to see more collaborations like this, then make sure to keep up to date with the community posts and make sure to like the video. And as always, I hope you enjoyed, and see you. Oh, whoa!